So operation get everything ready for my mom is on the way. I uh, straightened up her room today because this boy slept in her room one night and did not remake the bed. But didn't sleep in her room and then, and then I went back into my bed. But did you get in her bed? Yes. Okay, you didn't remake it is what I'm saying. So I remade her bed, um, got it straightened there. Now I am filling up her truck. I'm in her truck right now. I'm gonna take it through the car wash to get clean. She's not gonna get an interior clean. If she wants that, she's gonna have to do it when she get back. Um, gonna get her some, um, yeah, we're gonna go through the car wash. You'll be, you'll be going through it. Uh, let me get her a little couple of treats or whatever for when she comes home for in her room. Um, and then I have an errand for myself to run. So we're gonna try to get that all done within less than an hour. And then we go home, and then soon after that, I'll go to the airport and pick her up. Hey, hey, so excited. Y'all like these nails? I hate that they protrude so far out. Like my nose is all the way back here. But I do like how they attach in the back. These are, these are nice, and then they, they do have a nice seal right there. I just wish it was just a little bit closer, but Marcus likes that it's not near your mouth. Like I can almost stick my tongue out and then not touch. So. Anyways, happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. I'm sorry I hadn't said that. Hope you're having a blessing, a marvelous, and a prosperous Monday. And these girls, honey, these girls is everything. Get into it. Huh. safely Hallelujah. um so we are the game plan is i just called my husband um he's going to take the kids out of the house so that we can get mom in the house and she can get showered get into some clothes that don't have a bunch of just germs <laughs> on them from her traveling because she had to travel into atlanta yeah. and then from atlanta to here so in atlanta is open open y'all already know atlanta yeah, Atlanta is open. Open. So, oh, yeah. it's a lot more people she was having to uh, potentially come in contact with. So, anyways, uh, we know the kids are going to want to hug her. She going to want to hug them. So, we'd rather do it with out the, excuse me, contaminated um, clothing. We already know. The, the long of the short is, if she, if she has coronavirus, we're all about to have it. But we also don't want to, we still want to come into the house <laughs> or have the kids deal with her. I mean, the same thing with Big Marcus. When he comes home from work, the kids aren't aren't allowed to touch him until he has completely gotten out of all of his stuff. And the same thing with me. When I go grocery shopping, I usually take off my clothes and put on another set of clothes. Or either I spray down all of my clothing with bleach if I haven't gone into some place for a long time. So, since mom's been traveling all day, yes. we're just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and have her wash the travel off of yes. her. Yes, yes. She got to eat. I made sure she has some food. And so, when she gets us all together, she can love on these kids and get to meet Amar <laughs> all <laughs> over again. Cause he's a different child than what he was before she left. Oh, my baby, my baby. She has no idea. 
She mm. watched the lives and everything, so she has a little bit of a, an idea, but not, not in real time. Not, yeah, real time. That's what I'm going to get. Oh My yeah. Baby. Oh yeah. Get, yes. get ready. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is a monumental time in history. Let the record show that today, Thursday, June 25th, is the first time since March me and Marcus have been in the car at the same time with no children. This is all made possible by my mother, Dorothy Moore. And me and Marcus are running an errand together with no children. How do you feel about that, sir? Feels great. Are you irritated because it took me too long to get out of the house? Of course I'm irritated because it took you too long to get out of the house, but it's not. I'm good. But you knew that, you said that we would vlog in this treadmill, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's all I was doing was literally, I put on the dress immediately. There's always an excuse with you, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Loud. So today, Marcus participated in Unpopular Opinion for the very first time for Kevin Stage Studios. And when I tell you, my husband did a phenomenal job. All of his jokes hit hard except for one. And everybody is given the right to have one joke flop, at least. And Marcus is not a comedian. So by, with that being said, that means that was a home run. It was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. To hear was in his bag. When I tell you, you I don't know if you all watch Kev on stage and stuff. I know a lot of you all are also a fan of Kev on stage, but some of you all might not watch his stuff. Y'all see me turning like I'm uh, 86. <laughs> Turn his head. neck hurts. <laughs> but yeah, watch watch it. To hear had us yeah, to hear dying. Yeah, everybody's cases. And I was prepared. I'm always see to hear it don't usually come for people. Um, that I, I that I've noticed when I'm around him, like doing stuff in groups. But the first, I don't know, three or four times I was around to hear it, that's all he was doing was roasting people. But in a public setting, like when he's on stage doing stand up, he don't talk about people. No. So that's why I was I'm always shocked when I come for him when we doing something like when we've done lives before and he don't snap back. I'm like, what? Then I realize, oh, okay, he don't be talking about people like that. So today was the to hear that I'm used to. And, yeah. and like I already knew he was coming. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get my jokes in early on him. Yeah, no, Tahir definitely can roast. I don't think he, he purposefully, I feel like, doesn't want that to be all of his brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but he was good. He was on his day. So, anyways. Yeah, uh, no, he was definitely on. We like shot. He already should set the theme up before I got on there. I was like, Tahir, why are you making it so personal? I was like, yeah, you, you came in late, Marcus. He's been on one. Everybody. So, um, I was wondering when you were going to stop. Well, I thought I'd be able to get over, but I couldn't see up on Oh, well, sorry. Um, they'll drop throughout the month because Kev shoots all of them at once and then drops them, which is something I wish I could do with stuff. But you can't do that with vlogs. <laughs> These are real time, baby. So anyways, we're going to the city where the treadmill is because Marcus didn't want to wait until Monday until it was delivered. Y'all, this so. treadmill has been within 30 miles of our house since Monday. Yeah. I ordered this thing on May the 6th. It is June 25th. Yeah, it's time. So, we're and not they have been at the absolute worst. And they were like, well, it's deliver on the 29th. No, I won't. Where's it at? I'm going to go pick it up. Well, it's not at a facility where it can be picked up. Then get it to a facility where it can be picked up, god dang it. My hubby's mad. But we're about to get the treadmill, and I am excited. So, you guys, super excited. About to start holding to your edges with Brisha, my podcast. And we have a very special guest that the ladies have been waiting to hear about. It is... um. Luke James, the singer. Uh, I just am so excited because I know they're going to be so pumped. So I am trying to pour me a glass of wine. Uh, boom. But I need some ice because this should be cold. All right. Hi, hey. I'm going crazy. T tell, tell me, tell me in the sense of how are you both? She said, this is Greg Whitten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
weather was good, fam. About to go to bed, but I wanted to show y'all the treadmill. Got it home. Oh, got her to close the door before Mark comes out here. I got it home and then I spent the next uh, four hours putting it together, but most of that time was spent cutting up the goddamn box. But here is the finished product. Um, oh, they forgot an F over there. It's supposed to be an F right there. Anyway, I'm not promoting the company because I'm quite frustrated with them. Very annoyed that it took so long to get. So it's a stored position. Then it'll just kind of settle. Boom. And as y'all see all the other stuff. But anyway, that's the treadmill, y'all. Two months and absolutely no freaking customer service from them whatsoever. They are awful. But the product got good reviews online from neutral parties. Uh, and it's big, big enough. Um, it's got, you know, enough horsepower to, and you can get on there and do a lot on it. But anyway, it was literally since Monday, this thing has been like 25 minutes from the house and they talking about we'll ship it next week i'm like no you're gonna i'm gonna come pick it up today i'm sick and tired of doing all this way granted that was a shipping company none of this was their fault but that company so uh they were just i can't even say they were awful to deal with because i never dealt with them i got a couple of responses finally a manager started contacting me and responded he responded to me once or twice um but yeah so anyway that's a treadmill y'all and you're gonna start getting it in on there Mm -hmm. I'm hoping I'm gonna get up early enough tomorrow to run before I have to go to here's the thing but I also don't want to set up unrealistic expectations because I have to be there by 11 the baby is grabbing the camera I have to be get your son I have to be there by 11 so that would mean I would at least need to be up on the treadmill by 8 get in a good run a workout then the twins at 9 o'clock have summer school I need to be out of the house, so I would need to be able to take my shower and do my makeup. I could do my makeup while they're in summer school, but yeah, husband is uh, tickling my feet. This is a dress that I got from Dee Dee's Discount, a nice little, like, moo moo. Big Marcus actually said it was cute, <clears throat> which I appreciate. But anyways, this is the end of the vlog. Uh, you guys, my birthday is next week. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? And I'm getting everything, pulling everything together, so it'll be great. All right, guys, let me get up off of here because I got some stuff I need to think about and get my life together. All right, y'all be blessed. Bye.